We're back with another Boss Game Mini PC review. Definitely one of my favorite brand names. This time, we're checking out the P3 Plus. At first glance, it may just look like the M4 Neo reviewed not too long ago, minus an oculing port, but there are some other differences, like the color. It now comes in black. The plastic box remains unchanged with decent build quality and a red button that stares you right in the face. Well, at least it looks better with a black case matching those AMD Ryzen stickers. Anyone else think the AMD and Intel stickers are lame? Yes? No? Just me? At the very least, they could be stuck on straightly. Whatever, let's move on to the CPU, which is exactly the same as in the M4 Neo. And that is a real performance banger for buck CPU by AMD, known as the Ryzen 7840HS, an 8-core 16-thread mobile CPU with Radeon 7080M integrated graphics. The P3 Plus comes with a 19 volt, 120 watt power supply, visa mount, HDMI, and manual. All this can be yours for 410 US dollars, which nets you the 32 gigabyte RAM, one terabyte SSD configuration. Price is pretty good, but we'll see how it holds up shortly. On the front of the Boss Game P3 Plus, we have a full featured USB Type C 10 gigabit port, supporting power and display from a USB-C monitor. There's also a 3.5mm audio jack. The P3 Plus has an Intel Wi-Fi 6E for wireless and Bluetooth. On the back are two Realtek Gigabit LAN ports, HDMI 2.0, DisplayPort 1.2, USB Type-A 10 Gigabit, and USB 2. The port selection is clearly one area where there has been some cost cutting, with no USB 4 and only Gigabit LAN. The Boss Game M4 Neo Mini we looked at recently also had Oculink, which the P3 Plus doesn't. Okay, let's see what's inside this one. Pretty straightforward to open, four screws, lift the lid, and then another three screws to remove the SSD and RAM cooler. While it does have dual 2280 Gen 4 X4 NVMe slots, this one comes with a 2230 drive with an extension adapter. That's not a problem. But what is a problem is that they've bundled this mini with DDR5 4800. Oh. The 7840HS supports up to 5600 mega transfers, and this is the first mini PC we've come across to go with slower RAM on this higher end type of Ryzen chip. Well, we'll see how it affects performance against the Boss Game M4 Neo with the same CPU. Windows 11 Pro is included, and the malware scan came back positive for a change in the registry which looks to change windows to show all file extensions. I don't think it's malicious, but come on boss game, just give us a clean install, please. Linux works fine. Now let's take a look at the benchmarks for any differences between the P3 Plus and M4 Neo. In Cinebench single core, they perform similarly, as they do in multi-core. However, unlike the M4 Neo, this one has a performance mode, which increases the score. In Geekbench single core, the P3 Plus matched the M4 Neo exactly. That doesn't happen very often. While multi-core, it's behind and performance mode didn't help in any way. The Geekbench tests benefit from faster memory speed and the M4 Neo wins out there. While the P3 Plus is behind an H.264 CPU video encoding out of the box, in performance mode, it matches the M4 Neo. And in the much longer AV1 encoding test, we see similar performance at default, and the P3 Plus wins in performance mode. The next test is to encode the same file using AMD's GPU encoder, and we see a similar result. In the Geekbench AI CPU results, the P3 Plus is pretty close to the M4 Neo, with slightly lower numbers. Same with the AI GPU tests. We can put this down to the slower memory speed. Speaking of slower memory speed, it's going to make a difference in the 3 d Mark graphics test as the iGPU relies on the bandwidth. That extra 800 mega transfers in the M4 Neo gains 12% in the Firestrike DX11 test, 11% in TimeSpy DX12, and 10% in the newest Steel Nomad Lite DX12 benchmark. A low double digit drop for the P3 Plus all around. AMD's Radeon 780M is the iGPU we've tested most on this channel. Most esports games play well. Although something like Warzone doesn't have as good a frame rate.
All the AAA games play okay at 1080p low. The 7840HS is a great CPU for emulation. In the Code Compile benchmark, the P3 Plus performs similarly to the Ryzen H255, which is a similar CPU. This Mini is plenty good for Photoshop, and again the lowest score against the M4 Neo will come down to the lower memory speed. The same thing happens with Adobe Premiere. That being said, this Mini will handle 4K projects pretty well. The Kingston NVMe drive is one of the better performers with Benchmarked, and cooling is adequate to keep the SSD from thermal throttling. Bluetooth range is unimpressive at 3.2 meters. It's far below average. Luckily, wireless range at 12 meters or 39 feet from the router using the 5G band showed no dropout or latency issues. The idle power draw of 9 watts matches the M4 Neo, and the maximum depends on the power mode. Interestingly, it used less power than the M4 Neo in both modes. Maximum CPU temp holds under 90C, which is the same as the M4 Neo. Fan noise out of the box is better than the M4 Neo, and comes with slightly worse performance results, while performance mode causes noise to shoot up, and is worse than the Neo. As almost always, I'd stick to the out of box profile for this mini PC, as I don't think the extra fan noise is worth the performance on offer. Boss Games P3 Plus is a pretty standard size mini PC, even in the current trend of increasing volumes. Mashing the delete key on startup gets you into the BIOS. If you go to Advanced, you'll find Auto Power On, Wake On LAN, and CEC support. The Power Limit Select is where you can change the performance profile. GFX configuration allows you to change the VRAM limit. By default, it's set at 6GB. Normally, this part is where we would go into the pros and cons section, but recently I got a comment from Enihi who gave a suggestion to do a checklist instead. I thought this was a great idea, so here's the 0.1 version. Alright, let's summarize. Boss Games P3 Plus comes in a plastic case. Build quality is okay. It comes with a VESA mount, a compact power supply, and has USB-C PD. Unfortunately, it doesn't have USB 4 or Oculink. It does come with dual LAN, is easy to open, but only comes with DDR5 4800 RAM, which holds back some performance, especially on the iGPU side. There are at least two storage slots with this mini. RAM and storage are upgradable and replaceable. Linux works fine. Performance is good, and there's cooling for the CPU, RAM, and SSD. However, Bluetooth range is lacking, while Wi-Fi is okay. Fan noise is low out of the box, but not with performance mode. And the P3 Plus is unfortunately not available as a bare bones mini PC. Overall, Boss Games P3 Plus is one of the cheaper AMD minis with Radeon 780M graphics. Its biggest misstep is a slower RAM, but it's not too bad. Find it linked in the video description if you're interested. Those wanting USB 4 or Oculink are better off looking at the M4 Neo instead, and luckily I have a review of it right here. Cheers!